souvenirs I have collected in my travels over recent years. I like to travel and whenever I go somewhere new, I like to buy a souvenir as a memento. So, sorry if you can hear my cat crunching some food in the background. So, today I'm going to show you a few of my souvenirs that I have collected. room. 
my suitcase. This one is from Taipei. Taipei in Taiwan. Ta Taipei is the capital of Taiwan. Taiwan's largest city as well as its economic, political, and cultural center. Um, I got this back in 2018. I visited Taipei for um, around five days. I visited some of the attractions there and I fell in love with Taipei. It is a very, very beautiful city. Let's look at some of the individual postcards. So here we've got the Taipei uh, 101, which is the tallest building in Taiwan. And it used to be the tallest building in the world. Um, now there's the Burj Khalifa and a good few other buildings, but a few years ago this was the tallest building in the world. On the bottom floor, there's a big shopping area and a food court. Very fancy, lots of uh, designer stores. And you can go up. Um, and I think there's a restaurant and look out deck here. But when I was there, it was closed, unfortunately. And here is the nighttime view in Taipei. Next one. Um, I am pretty sure that this is the presidential building. Yes, here is some security. This is the presidential building in Taiwan. Um, when you walk by, there does be lots of security outside and military presence. This is a very nice building. Memorial area. The first time I was in Taipei, this was closed. It was being um, remodeled, I guess. Um, but I, I lived in Taiwan after the first time I was here. Um, and it, it was open uh, the other times I went back. Here we have Taipei 101. Um, celebration this might have been for. It could have been for New Year's. But yeah, when there are special occasions, it will light up the building. It will have writing on it for each occasion. And they can do these um, firework effects. Okay, and that is all of the postcards.
made up of 104 islands, but only the largest island in Archipelago is populated. Located 112 kilometers north of Penang, the main island is renowned for its idyllic ambience, meandering hills, and lovely beaches. The island's historical, natural, and commercial attractions as well as its international class resorts and hotels are easily accessible from Kwa. It's island's main town and arrival port for ferries. For a sweeping view of the island, take a cable car trip up Mount Matsinsong. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing these correctly at all. I do not speak Malaysian language. Oh, what's the language of Malaysia? Is it Malaysian? Oh, my cat. <laughs> um, the tallest peak on the island. It is not to be missed. It, also not to be missed is the Pear Island Marine Park located south from the main island. Ceramic clock. 
buy them. I went to the Netherlands um, earlier on this year. I went in April, April 2022. Um, I bought a postcard there. I did not buy these, but my friend went to Amsterdam a few weeks after me and she got me these clocks as a gift and I really like them. They're quite cute. Holland on the side. Holland. I think they're so adorable. I've got the colors of the Netherlands here. Yeah, I went to Amsterdam for a day trip. I had a stopover in the airport for around 12 hours. Um, so I decided to leave the airport during my stopover since it was in the daytime and I went to explore the city. Very, very beautiful place. I wish I had, I had had more time there. I'd definitely like to go back. They're handmade. So. And, um, it's not far from Ireland. Just over an hour on a plane, about an hour and a half on a plane from Ireland to the Netherlands. Here we got a, a windmill. The Netherlands is, are not, is known for their um, windmills. So these are quite different than any other um, souvenir I've ever got. So I really, really like them. There we go. Our Dutch clogs. Um, here's the next one. Again from Taiwan. So before we had Taipei. This one is from Sun Moon Lake. light up the uh, the owl lights up 
souvenirs, but I'm only gonna show about half of them today. And here's the last one for today. It is a little pocket watch. A little pocket watch. From Shanghai. As I said before, I used to live in Shanghai. See you next time.